Hello! If you're watching this video, it's probably because you've recently discovered that you love riding and now your next step is to get your first bike. Maybe you have no clue what kind of bike to get, how many cc's to get. So I'm going to tell you how I decided on my first bike when four years ago I knew the only experience I had on bikes was two days on a Honda Grom. And since then, I've test ridden over a dozen bikes. I've owned three bikes. Right now, this is my baby. Ooh, yeah. I took this picture. Thank you very much. I'm going to tell you how I picked my bike, and hopefully that'll help you be able to decide what bike is going to be best for you. Besides talking about getting your first bike, I'm also going to talk about one of the most important things that you need to do after you buy your first bike that a lot of people miss. So make sure you stick around until the end to hear that part. So today it is 35 degrees outside, which is about 20 degrees colder than I like to ride in. So welcome to my office slash spare bedroom where I put my computer and painted my boyfriend's desk white. And I thought I could be all cute and fun and make another video where I was doing a motorcycle chore like in my How I Started Riding video. So yesterday after work, I tried to beat the, I tried to beat the sunset and clean my bike outside while talking to you guys, but it got so cold so fast, I cut that abruptly. It's gotten so much colder already. So we'll try that again later this year. So, Welcome to my office. Okay, so quick background. I started the MSF course four years ago on a whim, not really planning on actually riding motorcycles after that, but as many of you may know, once you get the bug, it's hard to think about anything else. So after the MSF course, I considered maybe just renting bikes or taking classes, realized pretty quickly that is not plausible. I needed to get my own bike. But at that point, I had no experience with anything bike related. Um, it was not a normal thing in my family at all. I knew my parents would probably have a heart attack and I had already been a, such an obnoxious teenager from like age 14 to 20 so I did not want to put them through more heartache. I thought about hiding it from them but I was living with my sister at the time in Georgia even though my parents were in Florida I knew she would tell on me. So I had to be really careful and strategic and smart about it. I also had to think about how was I going to take care of it. I'd already watched Chase on Two Wheels get his bike stolen twice, living in Atlanta too. I didn't want that to happen to me. And even though all, I was thinking about all these things, I knew I, I had to do it. If I took the MSF course, got the bug, and never looked back, I would never forget about it. It may be like trying chocolate lava cake. I never had that before until last November. And now that I have, I think about it like every week and think where can I get some freaking chocolate lava cake? It's very hard to find here in Atlanta. Ooh yeah. So I knew I had to ride, otherwise I would always be missing it. I followed the advice of my MSF instructors in order to pick my own bike, which was just sit on as many bikes as possible. I kept in contact with some of my MSF classmates and some of them, I would just reach out to them, ask them questions. Some of them would come with me to dealership sometimes because I was going to dealership uh, on a weekly basis for about a month, just sitting on bikes. And eventually I found that I preferred the look and feel of cruisers. And I thought that kind of fit my mentality best too, because I thought I, at the time I thought I want to go to country roads, take it easy, be comfortable, I, which sounds very cruisery. Not, and I, I, at the time I, and I didn't think I wanted to go fast or do any kind of hooligan stuff with our, which I really associated with sport bikes. Um, little did I know I was going to be a mountain curve junkie, and that's why I have this baby now. More on that later. So after just sitting on bikes for months, or a month, I can't remember, and narrowing down to cruisers, that's when I started doing my online research. B 
best beginner bikes, best beginner cruisers, um, best cruisers for short people, which pretty much most cruisers are great for sh short people. I'm 5'4", and I didn't want to tiptoe anything, so I knew that much. And I also knew I didn't want anything very old or unreliable because I, again, I didn't know anything about motorcycles. I also didn't know how to take care of them. So I didn't want anything that required a lot of work. So as beautiful as cafe racers are, I didn't want a cafe racer. And I wanted something very reliable. So that's why I want Japanese route. Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha, all, all the most reliable bikes you can get. And also cheap because I didn't want to go too expensive. I didn't want to splurge. And my personal financial view is the only thing I'm willing to go in debt for is a mortgage. If I can't pay in cash for a vehicle, I'm not getting it. Even my car, I buy used and I try to buy private. And if you do decide to go private like I did, um, I have got some tips on staying safe when you do that. So I made a video on that, which I'll link in the description below. Once I decided all that, I narrowed down to two bikes. Suzuki S40 Boulevard 650cc and a Honda Rebel 500. I decided I didn't want to go as low as 300cc or so in cruiser range. Um, really, I was just looking at the zero to 60 time and I didn't want to be slower than like a standard car on the highway. I did not want anyone tailing me angry on the highway, which is so rude and dangerous, but some people in cars still do it. They don't understand like how how much at risk they're putting a motorcyclist by doing something like that. That's why I went a little higher in the CC for cruisers, but not much. My bike was still very little and very light. I could, I could pick it up by myself easily with improper technique. Three. I just got two fingers on it. That's all you. Oh. That's all you. Really? Yeah. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Almost there. Woo. And the most important thing that I see so many people missing when they get their first bike and that I needed to do more of is to read the manual, to practice technical skills on it, take as many classes as you can with it. Because in, unlike, I know, like I think European countries, it's required like a very extensive course to get your M-Class license. So people who ride in like other countries are good. But in America, you can literally get your M-Class license with just taking a written test or a two-day MSF course, which is what I did. And so you really are legally allowed to get on the road and not know that much. So that was me. But don't worry, I made sure to make up for it. I took a lot of slow speed skills classes, learned the hard way about taking care of your own bike. Turns out that I killed my bike. I'll link to that below. By the way, my parents, I sent them a text when I bought my motorcycle and let them know that I had been doing a lot of research, had taken a class, named it after my dead dog. And my mom didn't respond to me for about 24 hours, which is really weird for her. But eventually just said she just wanted to make sure I was safe. But now if I ever bring up riding around her, she's like, no, I, I don't want to hear Carolyn. I don't want to hear. So I just don't bring it up around her. My dad, of course, typically diplomatic, just told me he Hoped I would try to not ride in the city where there's a lot of traffic. Use a trailer whenever possible to get out away into the country. But one of my sisters told me that my dad thought it was really cool. And since I've test ridden like over a dozen bikes, if this video was helpful, then I'll talk more specifically about which bikes you can get depending on your personality, your body, and what kind of riding you wanna do. And if you wanna see more videos about this riding journey from day one to now, you can click on this playlist right over here. And if you want to see what it's like to be a girl rider, you can click this playlist right over here. So see you in the next one.